Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to edit a template or how to create a website from scratch and how to edit the different elements of WebStation Pro and how to customize them. So let's get started. This is the sale page we loaded in the previous video. So if you want to edit this, it's up to you. And if you want to add some things like menus or headers or subtitles or anything there is a variety of elements right here you can select them and load them right here by just drag and drop you can see where this line begins you can drop it and it will add that there now you can delete them by just selecting this element and hitting this button right here I write it twice so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this now once you are done dragging and dropping it's quite simple you can edit the text on any element just by just selecting it and changing it to whatever you like my text example and you can also change the background of this image by hitting this button or this button right here this button will ask for the image from your desktop and this button will ask from the direct image URL or you can just place a black placeholder in case you just need it for like temporary or you can directly select an Im image from pixabay by searching like this like games so i'm just gonna go ahead and edit this image right here and this is how perfectly it fits inside the header and this is how you can edit the image from pixabay and you can also add it through designer pro but before that for that you have to add the api key of designer pro we will cover that in another video so this is how to edit the text now whenever you select the text you can see a toolbar right on the right side of this page and this is some options that you want to explore like this is bold this makes the text bold and italic and this makes it underlined and this is crossing any text like for example if you want to cross something like pricing and this is for the colors now there are different type of colors you can see text color background color and block background so and you can see this erase button and an image button right here as well so let me show you an example for example I have this block right here I want to expand it a little bit and I want to make the block background color to blue and that is how you can do it you can also change the text or text color as well by just selecting text and hitting text color and changing, changing it to whatever you like for example if I need it a darker I can change it oops it was already dark so let's say if I needed this I can do it so it's that simple just select the element object and you can directly edit it now if you want to merge two objects you can merge them through by selecting this button right here merge blocks and now hovering over any element clicking that and then clicking this now for when I click this and this right here this this will merge these blocks but it will keep the background of the first one I selected while merging so that's it that's how you can do the merging of blocks and it's quite simple you can change the text colors you can change the button color you can change the link on the buttons when you click this you can see the edit link option right here you can enter any URL here and click OK to place that URL on a button so that's quite simple and you can also add margins and paddings if you are a pro and you want something extra for yourself and you can just add margins and padding to this any element you like now now let's talk about icons now let's say if I have um, 
this object right here sorry and this object right here I can see the icons I can just click on it I icon and I can change the icon by just selecting any icon from the list and it will be automatically replaced there so it's quite simple you can change any icon and I missed one thing I didn't tell you how to place a background image so it's quite simple as well you can just select any block you go ahead and hit this color button right here and now press this image button right here and that's how you can add any image to a block like for example if I have this right here I can add this image to this block so you see it's quite simple and easy to use you can change the video links by entering the URL right here you can change the pricing by directly editing it now there are plenty of blocks right here you can go through them now let's talk about something like maps now I have a map right here let's add another map just wanna keep this one right here so let's go to map and I'm gonna crack this map right here so you can see it bigger so this is the map and how you can edit the location of a map map is that basically default is Harry's Cafe de Ville's so I'm just gonna go ahead and click edit link button now this asks for the map link so whatever place you want like Melbourne Sydney explore these Google Maps you can open the Google Maps you can point where your location is basically like for example if your location is this university right here just click it and press the share button right here go to the embed map and copy this source of this iframe from right up to this inverted comma to this inverted comma before width so you just go ahead and copy this let's make it easier I can place it right here and I can copy it easily so this is how you can copy the link and you will paste right here and press OK and it will change the location to that position and you can go ahead and change the map location yourself so this was pretty much for the editing you can merge blocks I have already told you and once you're done now it's time to create a build but before that let me tell you how to create a website from scratch so go ahead and go ahead and select the new project it will take you to, to the main screen of selecting templates so just go ahead and select empty template and now you can edit it simply by dragging and dropping placing cars and placing coats and placing everything right here you can make it half width and full width as well so once you're done now it's time to export this website or save the project you can just go ahead and click this button but i will go into that in the next video so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video